let's take two people, John and Sue. Let's say John got shot in the arm. And let's say Sue wants to have a pleasant conversation with John. Let's say John is in extreme pain, so much pain. And let's say Sue comes by and say, John, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's say all of that talking is annoying John. So let's say John says to Sue, Sue, leave me alone now. <laughs> let's say that offends Sue. How can John speak to me in that way? How can John yell at me? I do so much for John. John is so ungrateful. Listen, Sue, you are not the problem. I was feeling this comfort today. And someone wanted me to do something for him or her. I went to this particular place and I was dealing with an employee there. And I was growing impatient and I got a bit angered. That person did nothing wrong to me, but I was growing impatient, impatient, and I was a bit annoyed, angered, annoyed. Same thing, I guess. So I was a bit annoyed. Listen. My discomfort was the issue. Not that person. A person may believe that you are the issue. A person may say that you are the reason for their unhappiness. I don't know every case, but I believe that their issues started before you. Now, that may not be the case in every case, but I believe in some cases their issues started before you. Listen, I believe it is easy to call a person crazy. I believe it is so easy to rudely criticize a person. But do you actually know what that person went through? Perhaps that person have been abused so much. Perhaps that person have been raped so much. Perhaps that person have been neglected so much. Perhaps that person have been isolated so much. Perhaps that person went through traumatizing things, but I guess some people may see those people for how they are now and say, that person is crazy. That person is rude. That person is weird. Look, I believe that is wrong. There is a person that contacted me or I contacted that person. And I believe that person 
was rude when that person contacted me. So I contacted that person later that week, maybe two days later, I don't know. And in so many words, I believe I asked that person about what happened. And I believe that person told me about some things that is going on. Which made sense. Now, what that person did, I don't believe it is right. But I can see, I guess, why that person acted or texted me in the way that person did. And I know some things about that person too. So I can understand more about or why that person is the way that he or she is. Listen, we have to get a better understanding of people. I am not saying that you have to contact them every single day. But I believe so many people are going through pain. I believe that. And you may not like this, but I believe we have to suffer some in order to help people. How can you say that you want to do things for God, when you see so many people suffering, or let's say you see so many people suffering, and let's say that you are not willing to help out, how can you say that you want to do things for God if that is the case? I believe part of doing things for God, I guess you can say, I believe doing things for God it's helping people. I believe that. So when you say, God, I am willing to do anything for you, I believe part of that is helping people. Because how can you say, think about that. And I believe the closer I get to God, the more I see I guess my job is, is to reach out to people. I am so serious. I am so serious. So I pray that this makes sense. So you may not be the issue. So stop feeling bad. Well, Kevin, I don't know why that person is always angry with me or why that person is doing this or that to me. That person has issues, perhaps. What you can do is pray about it, right? Do it. Let me stop here. God bless you all.